arrived in Aitutaki, it was so beautiful. The air was, was amazing. It was just exactly like the postcards, but better. Little airport. Something cool about being on an atoll, although Aitutaki is not quite an atoll, but almost, but just that endless blue sky and like no mountains, it's just you're with the ocean and the sky and that's it. We have a random goat breaking down a tree. We just climbed the highest peak on Aitutaki and it's not very tall, about uh, 500, less than 500 feet because Aitutaki is an atoll in formation so this is what's left of a, a bigger mountain or a bigger volcano back in the days I think and uh, the view is gorgeous but it's really hot. <laughs> we can see almost the entire island. So we've reached the eastern side of the island facing the little islets that or they're called motus in Polynesian. And uh, Aitutaki is not quite an atoll, although I think some people refer to it as an atoll. And an atoll is an ancient volcanic island that sunk, according to a theory by Charles Darwin, who visited the world on his famous uh, Beagles trip. And uh, maybe one day most of the island will, will sink and all that will be left is the coral ring. As it, if you can see right there, the waves are breaking on the reef, so it's entirely protected. It's like a little gem in the ocean that you're fully protected and you can even walk all the way to that point here at low tide and at high tide it's a very easy swim and where the waves are breaking that's essentially uh, where officially the island or slash atoll ends. It's very cool and very beautiful. There's not a lot of vegetables either. In fact, there's even less vegetables than fruit, uh, especially on this island. And I think what's happening is 
the islanders are growing their own vegetables and they don't grow a huge variety there's a lot of breadfruit trees all over the place uh, there is uh, taro and uh, manioc also called yucca and potatoes and onions and some we've seen some carrots but they're probably imported so there's not a lot and the, the the cook islanders like most polynesians they really eat a fatty diet so most people eat a lot of fish meat a lot of fried foods a lot of crap uh, they don't eat a lot of fruit and when they do it's not super ripe but they grow a lot of coconuts and they grow a lot of papayas so we'll go for that yeah. Special one foot island stamp in Aitutaki. Not that we're in a different country, but we're in a tropical island. Now, this part of the trip is really, really draining. Just can't wait to get back home. Just can't stand this place. <laughs> Thanks.